And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Howdy folks, today we're going to talk not about a board game, but rather about a book. Now, before you quickly turn this off, this is a game book. It's a solo game book, and it's very similar to what we would call a choose-your-own-adventure book. In fact, it really is a choose-your-own-adventure book, but you're going to, instead of just using this book, you'll have a, a set of dice. There's a sheet in the back, an adventure sheet, where you can uh, make your own character, Toby, and it's the Renegade Wizard. We're going to take a closer look at this, but you have to realize I'm not going to get into too much detail in this review, mostly because I don't want to spoil the book for you, but enough so that you can understand how to play. So here we have the Renegade Wizard book, and you can see that it's not a huge book. It has, let's see, 257 pages, and I'll tell you, for a while when I'd go through a page, you read through a page and it would tell you to turn to a number, and you're actually going to numbers of paragraphs. So there's quite a few paragraphs in this game. You can see they go up into the 500s. Uh, but what the game is going to do is many times the game is simply going to give you a choice. Like down here you can see this, roll two dice, and if you roll that, go here. If you roll that, go here. Sometimes it will, you know, what do you want to do? Do you want to pull off, pull one of the chains, or do you want to leave this room when you go to a certain room? And different things are going to happen. The game is going to revolve, though, around fighting, of course, and, you know, it's a fantasy game. And in the back of the book... There is a chart where you can have your adventure sheet, and it talks about your vitality, which is basically hit points, your defense, your hero points, equipment, gold pieces, skills, weapons, and then encounter records in case you want to keep track of all the bad guys that you fight. So you can photocopy these and use these over the course of the game. Or you can, you know, you really can keep track of a lot of it in your head. When you're fighting someone, you will roll a die, and a one, two, or three means you've lost initiative. Four, five, and six, you've won initiative. And then when you attack someone, you're simply going to roll the dice, and you're going to add the number that you roll to your attack, and then you will compare that to their defense. If it's higher, you'll do a certain amount of damage depending on what weapon you're using, and they will do the same to you, and you will keep fighting. Now, as the game progresses, you start with a certain amount of hero points, for five hero points, and you can use those hero points to make the dice say whatever you want them to say. So you can certainly win certain encounters, and as the game progresses, you can get more encounters. Now, as you go through the book, it is interesting that you actually do go through different dungeons, and I'm trying to go through this too fast so that people won't stop and uh, try to figure out what's in the book, but it does jump all over the place, so it's not you won't read this straightforward, but there are places that you can stop, for example, here, this isn't spoiling too much, you go to the store, you can go to town, and you go to the store, and then there's different things you can buy, and you can see they each thing gives attack bonuses, do a certain amount of damage, and have a certain cost in gold, and then you can go to other stores throughout the town, and then as the game will progress, you will occasionally come across uh, different kinds of, you know, there's different things that you can do, different actions, depending on where you are, but more often than not, you're going to face some monsters, like here, you're fighting uh, three thugs, one is a pick, one is a stick, one is a gauntlet, these two have plus one attack, that's how much damage they do, that's their defense, that's their vitality. And so you can keep track of these things, but it's, and it's pretty simple. And you come across, and if you get defeated by the monsters that you come across, most of which are orcs and such, then you're going to lose. But if you beat them, then you can continue on the adventure, and you're trying to get to a certain paragraph that says you win, or you can get to a certain paragraph, and there's multiple of them that say uh, you lose. So to play the game, you only need the dice in the book, although photocopying the sheets with a pencil is going to help a lot, too. Well, there you go. I have not yet beaten this book. So I, and I have died many different ways. So I know that that's there. Uh, I haven't really put too much effort and I have to admit when there's a choice of something good and something bad, I usually try to pick the thing that <laughs> seems more dangerous or more heroic at the time. But it's fun. It's very entertaining. I'm also a terrible dice roller. I'm, if I rolled better, I might I might survive longer. But it's, it's fun. I don't know how many of these I would buy, but I'm certainly glad to have one of them, and it was something enjoyable to do. It's, it felt like an old-style D&D-type game, but 
Interesting. I love Choose Your Own Adventure books. This one was well written, um, although it you know had some of the shtick that you might expect to see in you know your Dungeons and Dragons uh, modules and such. But I, but I liked it. There wasn't anything spectacular in the story itself. No great surprise, but it was a neat thing and it was fun to go around. And it felt almost like the book was a almost computerized game master. So if th this might be something that you're interested in, I certainly. Uh, I'm glad that I gave it a try. It's not normally my cup of tea, and you know, normally I'm playing all these games, but it is one that I did have a lot of fun playing. The Renegade Wizard. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast, at dicetower.com. You can also find the latest board game news at dicetowernews.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Fun Again Games, the world's best game source. Fun Again Games has over 5,000 games available. Check them out at funagain.com. <laughs>